Street Art Festival 2016. It took 12 weeks, dozens of volunteers, and a whole lot of paint to create India's first art district. and transform these rusty containers into vibrant murals. A moment of effusive color in this campus aside a junkyard. The containers at ICD are released, but the murals at Lodi Colony remain. The legacy of the street art festival lives on. A couple of months back, I think in the newspaper there was an ad. I heard that Delhi street art is getting together with Asian paints. One fine morning, my husband saw this ad, donate a wall by Asian paints. Donate the Wall uh, campaign is something which we started in January this year. The entire idea was to kind of excite people in terms of looking at, uh, uh, you know, donating a part of their uh, wall of the house or, or their commercial property to kind of uh, something, uh, me some memories which they think very strongly of to that extent. And uh, by virtue of that, uh, you know, we execute something on the wall which kind of brings uh, art to public so that the entire initiative is tied down from an individual to a public at large. We asked each of these owners to give stories around their, around their house and around their wall. and. We selected most of them on the criteria of, of the story. That's how the whole uh, selection happened. Entrepreneur Udit Huda, a resident of Nebsarai, observes the lack of open spaces for young kids in his area. By donating his wall, Udit aims to transform his property into a lively center of activity for kids in the neighborhood. When I was growing up in this place, uh, this used to be this huge patch of land uh, where, you know, uh, we used to come every day from our house, me and my brothers, and, you know, there was this big kushti pit in the center, you know, that desi dangal style kushti. The most beautiful memory of this place is that it connected our childhood to the ground, you know, to where you walk, where you live every day, which is taken for granted. Children nowadays are, uh, I mean, you know, there is something called as uh, nature deficiency disorder, which I really feel is the case nowadays, you know, uh, everybody is glued to the TV. They are losing a concept of the outside, they're losing the concept of being uh, dirty, you know, of all that stuff and I really feel that uh, also because you know lots of spaces are not even available it's becoming an urban jungle every everywhere open spaces are not available so you can't even blame those kids you can't expect kids to be playing on the streets at all times we don't play anyone badminton <laughs> I was interested in getting some, some artwork done on that wall for some time and uh, one of my friends got in touch with Asian Paints uh, for the same idea he had posted on their Facebook page and uh, I followed on that post and I wrote something that you know I have a wall that I'd like to donate for the donate wall uh, you know campaign. I got a call from Bombay and they informed me that you know a team from Asian Paints is going to come over and uh, have a look at the place physically and they did. Um, it was a great meeting. They were able to understand what I was looking for and I was able to understand what they had in mind. Yeah. 
Multidisciplinarian artist Ruchin Soni is inspired by Udit's recollection of his childhood memories and designs a wall that hopes to do justice to these happier times. Coincidentally, Ruchin himself is a resident of Nebsarai. Udit Huda's vision is very beautiful. He really wants to make that space alive and that is what I really like. His concept where he wants all the kids to come out and play together that will create a bond between them and uh, the space for community. He really wants to do something. These kind of open spaces are rare in this area and he doesn't want to create a business out of it. He wants to give it back to the community in a, in a good way. For now, like I really want to create something which is really bright and colourful that will appeal to all the people who live in that area and to all the kids so that they can actually come out and live and have fun in that space. Challenges are a lot in terms of light and uh, because of the scale, you have to go up and up and up and up. With the discussion that I had with Ruchin, he's been able to interpret it uh, very beautifully. I think he's been able to do that pretty well and I'm really excited to see how this looks uh, once it ends. I was a little nervous in the beginning because uh, kids are the best judge. They can either love it or they can trash it. But uh, I'm happy to see that kids are able to relate to all the characters. Like, kids say, I'm Superman, I'm Superman, I'm Superman. No, I'm a wrestler. Kids say, I'm Angel. I'm Angel. So, with every character, the kids have adapted. I am very happy to see that. It really brings out uh, what we had started with, the whole idea of bringing the past uh, today. Uh, it connects what this place was and uh, what it is today and you know, brings the positive out of both the, both the times. Uh, it is about young people, it is about kids, it is about sports, it is about the outdoors. It is about open spaces, what used to be here. And I think that really captures, uh, is really captured in this piece. And uh, what, is also, what was also very uh, you know, essential was color, uh, outdoors, openness, and uh, kids, which is beautifully been captured by Ruchin in this art piece. पर पेंटिंग बनने के कारण है अच्छी लगती है और मैं और मेरी फ्रेंड्स यहाँ रोज खेलने हैं। इसके कैरेक्टर्स जो हैं वो मुझे बहुत अच्छे लगे और मुझे लगता है कि इस दीवार का सुपरमैन मैं ही हूँ। Kanuga is an adventurer who has documented her travels across the world. Having resided in Delhi for most of her life, she has always been enthusiastic about trying new experiences. A couple of months back, I think in the newspaper there was an ad 
and it was a very pretty picture with birds and all that and Asian paints and it said donate a wall and if you are interested give a missed call and I remember I was having my breakfast and I saw this and I said wow this sounds interesting. They wanted to see some pictures of the wall and then I thought this wall uh, is actually uh, my dad's, it was my dad's study room and it's a very nice wall as you enter you can see that wall so I thought why not you know try it out. Munir Bukhari hails from a small town named Gondal near Rajkot in Gujarat. He started his journey as an artist three decades ago, painting auto rickshaws for free. One of the four artists to paint the Dada Sahib Palke portrait at Bandra's Sea Link in Mumbai, Munir is in Delhi depicting Leela Kanuga's story on her wall through his brush. बहुत से वॉल पेंटिंग के यहाँ से गुजरात में भी किया है, दिल्ली में, मुंबई में, बेंगलोर में, सब जगह पे मैंने पेंटिंग किया है। He's also been a trained painter, but he works with airbrush. There are very few artists in India working with airbrush, and Munir has kind of like mastered that airbrush craft. While even though he's been working, is is not been recognized for for his art, which he has mastered. And this was a, a nice platform for him to also get some exposure. I met uh, Munir, the artist, and uh, he came across as such a humble gentleman. And as we had a conversation, I could figure out that he was so full of ideas. I knew that he was a lot of people who were going to go and go and go and go. So, I knew that he was a lot of people who were going to go and go and go and go and go. So, I knew that he was a lot of people who were going to go and 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 go. I can see it taking shape now and the outlines are yet to be done but it's coming out very very pretty, it looks pretty good, very global in nature. आधा बना हुआ था तभी बोलेंगे वाह बोले थे लेकिन जब पूरा हो जाएगा तो वो खुश हो जाएंगे शायद This painting has to a great extent captured the spirit of my travel. No doubt about it, because the places you see highlighted there, the uh, uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Colosseum, the hot air balloon, little little details match with the uh, so many places I have been visiting lately. मेरी ये दीवाल फाइनल हो हो गई। बाद में लीला जी आके वो देखे और मेरे को बोले कि आपने रंगों से बरस के माध्यम से इसमें ये दीवाल पे जान लगा दी और जान डाल दी है मेरी वो। उसको देख के ऐसा लगता है कि क्या ये काम मैंने किया और बहुत भी अच्छा लग रहा है देख के। I think it's such a small society, very few houses here. Most of the neighbours we know each other, so I really hope it will draw them to come and visit me more. I've been observing this home for the last 40 years. And we have always had a plain background in the front. And today when I was walking past here, it just hit me, you know, the colour background and the artwork on it, it just struck me. And uh, I really found it attractive.